There are several different ways to include initial imperfections, such as out of straightness of this column. Uh, one way is we could go back under geometry and use Mastan's move node option and one by one drag the nodes a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. But this could be quite tedious and surely quite time consuming. Another way to do it is that we can update the geometry based on the results of an analysis. So that's what I'll do here. So first, uh, let's put some load on the structure that will deform our column in the shape that we'd like to use as the initial imperfection. So in this case, I'll select conditions and define forces. The first thing that we'll need to do is turn off any loads that are currently on the structure. So in this case, I've already have a concentrated load up at the top of the column. So I'm going to zero that out. And to do that, I'll first select it by clicking on it and then just hitting apply with all the PX, PY, and PZ values set to zero. With all the forces now turned off, I'll put on a lateral load on the system. So first, uh, let me clear off. It's currently got node two selected, so let me clear the list. And then I'm going to select mid height on the column. And then I'm going to put in an artificial value, say, of 10 kips of force on that column. And then I'll hit apply. We'll now just perform a first order elastic analysis by selecting analysis, first order elastic. Now we are need to do a planar frame analysis. So down at the base, I'll change the space frame to planar frame. And then I'll hit apply. With the analysis now complete, let's have a look at the deflected shape. So under results, select diagrams and deflected shape, and then hit apply. As expected, our column has been bent to the right here. So what we'd like to do now is update our geometry to include this shape. Certainly not all that deflection, but, but just the general shape. So what we can do is under results, select update geometry, select the node in which we're going to use as a reference. So this midpoint node, because we know what the amount of deflection we want there is. So down at the base, I see node six in the X direction. And I'd like to provide it a value of the length, which was in our case, 172.8 inches divided by a thousand. So I'll put in an initial imperfection of L over a thousand in the shape of this column. Hit apply. And now the geometry of the uh, column has actually been updated to include an initial imperfection of L over a thousand. Now this is quite a small amount, so we can't really see it on the screen. But we can confirm this by going under geometry, information, node, and then clicking on the node of interest here, which was halfway up. Looking at the screen down at the bottom there, we can see that for node six, the X coordinate is now 0 0.1728. It was originally zero, so it's been shifted over by that in initial amount. Of course, all the other nodes have also been shifted over, and we can see that by clicking on any one of those. So maybe I'll click three quarters of the way up. And we can see that node eight is also shifted over. Now, the last thing we'll need to do is remove that lateral load. So again, we'll go to conditions, define forces, select the node where the load is, leave all the values down at the bottom at zero, because that's what we're going to set it to, and hit apply. So that's how to incorporate an initial imperfection such as out of straightness into a column. Now keep in mind there are other ways to do it. We could have performed a buckling analysis and then used the buckle shape as a seed for incorporating the, that initial imperfection.